Hi, this is Miss Bell from the library, and I'm going to show you how to embed your self-reflection core competency document into MyEd. So first of all, you need to log into MyEd. I've already done that, and of course mine looks a little different because I'm a teacher. Um, so you want your MyEd open in one uh, tab, and in another tab, you're going to open your self-reflection core competency document. You've probably got this in your core competency folder, so you can either access it from Google Docs or go to your Google Drive into that core competency folder and open it from there. Now that it's open, you want to go to File, Share, and then Publish to the Web. And we want to embed it. So notice nothing's really happening here. So now I have to click Publish. Are you sure you want to publish this selection? Okay. So we're going to copy all of this. And then we're going to go back to my ed. Now I'm going to go to my page directory right here. Now for you guys, only one is going to pop up, and that's just you. I have all my students. So click on your name, and this is what you're probably going to see. Some of you might have different tabs at the top with all your grades. So let's imagine you don't have any tabs, because if you do have tabs, you can just listen and skip this part. You're going to start by editing page, and we're going to add tabs. So you should add tabs for each grade. Now if you double click on them, you can uh, rename them. So grade 8. And then I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to change that to say grade 9. And there we go. And I'm going to edit my page again. I'm going to add another tab. Double click. Grade 10. The reason I am doing this is because the core competency self-reflection document that you have is good for one grade year at a time. So we're going to embed it every year. For the older students who use the slideshow, they only had to do it one time. But that's okay because there might be other things that you want to embed. So uh, for now, let's imagine that I'm in grade 8. So I'm going to click on my grade 8 tab. There's nothing here. So I'm going to edit my page. Now I'm going to go to blog. I'm going to drag the blog over. OK, so it fills up this nice whole section here. That's perfect. And I'm going to add a new entry. So I'm going to give it a, a title. So I'm going to call it Self Reflection Core Competency. OK, now in this part here, I want to click source. This is what I'm going to need to do to embed. So I've clicked source. Oh, it should be the only thing that's highlighted. Uh, and then I'm going to click here so my cursor's there and I'm going to paste control V. All right. Then I am going to um, I have to insert a little bit more information here because if I just click save at the moment, it will um, look really small and you won't be able to see much. So we're going to pause here. In order to make the document we're embedding a good size so we can see it, we're going to copy some code here. So we need to come to the Valley View website. Then we're going to go to Parents and Students, and down to Core Competency. This page should look familiar because this is where you made a copy of your self-reflection document. So I want you to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to copy this bit of code here that says frame border equals zero, width equals 1,000, and height equals 650. We need those quotation marks around the numbers. Those are important, so make sure you copy those. Now that we've highlighted it, we're going to do control C for copy. And then we're going to be able to paste it in. 
Okay, now from the website, I got the information that I need to embed. And I'm going to highlight here where it says embed equals true quotation mark. And I'm going to paste this in. What this does is this tells my um, code how wide I want the um, dock to be and how tall. So now I'm going to scroll down a little and I'm going to hit save. Here it is. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you are having trouble with this, obviously come and see me. But you can always edit this again and try again. All right. Hope that worked for you. And thank you very much.